One Fine Spring Day is a story of a radio host and a sound engineer falling for each other while working on a project recording the sounds of nature. A simple story of love blooming between two individuals, but something about this movie captured my interest and hasn't completely left my mind even months after watching it. I want to understand why, and to do that, let's look back at how I even discovered this film. No, it wasn't through a movie website or social media or anyone's suggestion. I get music playlists recommended on my YouTube occasionally, and one time I got an 18 minute long playlist on my recommended with a Korean title that I obviously didn't understand. I clicked on it though and found some good music, but what captured my interest was the mini edit of movie scenes in the beginning of the video. It featured scenes from a few romantic Korean and Japanese movies. Some scenes in specific caught my eye with their color palette and the atmosphere they were giving off. Thanks to one of the people in the comments, I quickly discovered the titles for these movies, Moonlight Whispers and One Fine Spring Day, and the owner of the channel used a frame from One Fine Spring Day for the rest of the video. But today we're not going to be looking at Moonlight Whispers, I haven't watched it yet, we're focusing on One Fine Spring Day. That movie seemed really up my alley, two people falling for each other while recording sounds of nature. It sounds so calming and it was the type of movie I wanted to watch a few months ago. It fit my mood really well, but other than the plot synopsis, another thing that I mentioned was was the color palette of the movie. Look, I am no expert in color, I just know that sometimes a palette of the movie can click in my head and make me more drawn to it, which makes sense. Cinema is a form of art after all, and when I go to an art museum for example, the thing that will draw me into one of the particular pieces are colors, and then I look further at the canvas painted and just let my heart tell me if I feel anything towards it. I'll analyze it if I feel like it, or sometimes I'll just enjoy it without diving too deep into what it is supposed to convey, or occasionally making my own little interpretation of what it is later if I feel like it. God, I sound so pretentious, I literally understand nothing about art, but I hope it's okay. Anyways, we're going off the tracks here, so back to One Fine Spring Day. So a few months ago, I sat down and finally watched it. First of all, I I really love the premise of two characters slowly falling for each other while recording soothing sounds of nature, sitting for hours and capturing the sound of wind, the sound of falling snow, or the waves of the sea. These two people spend more and more time together in this tranquil state and chat after work, which eventually leads them to getting more and more interested in each other. But the movie doesn't show a specific moment that makes them decide to start dating, it just shows that now they are together. It goes through different stages of a relationship, the slow connection, the sweet moments of a new relationship, the yearning to be together as much as possible, and just as suddenly it shows the point where that connection starts fading. One Fine Spring Day lacks a lot of the tropes of what you might expect from a romantic movie. There is no specific highlighted moment where the characters fall for each other, a big argument that separates them, and a resolution that feels like an end of a story. This entire movie doesn't exactly feel like one and watching it doesn't exactly feel like watching a movie either. After thinking about the movie for some time, I realized that what makes it special is that watching it felt like going through a photo album. Looking at different points of a person's life, you don't get all the backstories. You don't know everything, just what you see in the picture. It is just a picture to you, but it is also a moment frozen in time, a memory for those who experienced it, and their feelings were captured in those pictures. And they were real at that moment. Sometimes when I'm in a subway or a bus or in any crowd, I'll occasionally observe people around me and think to myself, everyone here has their own story, their own struggles, goals, relationships, unique experiences. And that's what watching One Fine Spring Day made me feel, like watching people passing by the street through my window. This 2001 film captures a passing love between two people. It happened. It was real, and it faded away just as easily, leaving some with a bitter feeling in their heart and some who just move on with their lives. It is a simple story, but it captures those genuine moments between two people. I think this aspect of the movie was what really captured my heart, and even though this movie is nothing like a masterpiece, it has this charm that has thus secured a place in my memory for at least some time. Thank you for watching this short video, let me know if you have seen One Fine Spring Day, and if so, what are your thoughts on it? And if you made it this far and enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you as always, and see ya.